number one, Germany against Denmark. We're underway. They're roaring into the first card corner, and Germany get there. Huckenbeck's out in front, but on the outside. Got to say, Rasmus Jensen certainly has done well to come through in the second place. But Dawn going right round the inside. Smart. Oh, drama there with Rasmus Jensen running too wide. Anders Thompson trying to get in the picture as well. But Germany are out in front. This is a turn up for the books. Denmark, who was so strong earlier in the week, 40 points in the semi final. But Germany, they start with a maximum score. How about that? Here we go then, heat number four. Second time out for Germany. They get to the first corner, Torsell's there. Ladorn's coming through as well. Fantastic first corner for Norrie Ladorn. Kai Huckenbeck, oh, Freddie Lingren charges up the inside. Fantastic move for him. Sweden now coming through in the second and third. Huckenbeck trying to get back in it. But it's a youngster from Germany, Norrie Ladorn. And now Huckenbeck. Look at Huckenbeck go. Tell you what, Huckenbeck has got plenty of speed. Fast ready, was fast in the semi final. Huckenbeck now on the inside. And Germany looking for a second consecutive 7 2. Look at Freddie Lingren. What a move from him. Huckenbeck trying hard. Freddie Lingren has forced his way back into second place. Vladorn riding superbly well out in front. One lap to go. Germany riding out of their skins here in their first couple of outings. Look like they're going to pick up six points. Torsell just out of the picture. Norit Vladorn, what a ride this is. He's been a busy man this week. He picks up a fantastic win there. Lingren had to work overtime to come back into second place. And Kai Huckenbeck in the thick of the action throughout the four laps. Another massive race, team number five. Which way is it going to go? Takes her up. Run the way to the first corner. Great start by Mickelson. He's got around the first corner. Here comes Anders Thompson now. Pat, oh my goodness. Oh, Dan Bewley nearly getting off the back of the bike there. Robert Lambert has forced his way through in the second place, almost forcing himself to the front. Oh, that's tight! Look at Robert Lambert charging on the inside! Fantastic ride from Robert Lambert to get the better of Anders Thompson. What a stunning, forceful move that was from Robert Lambert, the captain of Great Britain, riding out in front, looking a million dollars. Anders Thompson literally, well, beaten up there. Had to take it. But Denmark come through there. They only got two points in their first outings, but they get a heat advantage in that one. Team Great Britain with two wins, but uh, unfortunately not quite working as a pair yet. Solid start for Poland. And they build on it now, but Sweden are a tough nut. We're away. Sweden have got away sharp there. Torsell around the inside. Here comes Freddie Lingren. Kubera there trying to get through the middle of them with Smarzlik out the back. Gotta say, strong start. Torsell's move. Kubera out of the way. Lingren's hit the front. Super stuff from them. Smarzlik all over the place. Super speedway from Sweden. Smarzlik working so hard back in third place. Can he get the better of Torsell? Just got one last chance now. Coming through the final corner. Torsell slams the door shut. And what a result for Sweden. That's huge. Disappointment for Poland. Didn't work out for them there. Kubera just got beaten up early in the race with a strong move from Torsell to stop him coming round him. But Freddie Lingwin, who was fast in the semi final, Torsell with a big crash, bouncing back. What a result for Sweden that is. Here we go. Heat number eight. Germany against the host, Great Britain. Here we go now, long pause, takes her up. The roar into the first corner, it's Huckenbeck who dives up there into the middle of the back. Bewley, what a turn back from Dan Bewley. And Robert Lambert now, coming up the inside. Team Great Britain hit the front for the first time as a pair. And they're going to the second lap, and Dan Bewley has got his act together this time. They've combined beautifully. Strong move coming out of turn two in the only lap. Seven massive points for Team Great Britain. That's a big move for them. They had eight coming into their third out in heat number eight. And they almost double their score. So here we go. Heat number 11. Big pressure on Poland. Never won the Speedway of Nations. Won the Speedway World Cup last year in dramatic style. 
Can they bounce back here now? Oh, drama. Drama. Smarslik in the tapes. Who can back jumps? Smarslik moves. It's been confirmed. What a moment. Drama here in the Speedway of Nations final for Poland. Just hasn't been his week. He had a heavy crash in the semi final. Went home. He's come back. And he's now touched the tapes. It's awfully frustrating when a rider does that on the outside of you. Here we go then. Opportunity. You would suggest on paper at least. For Denmark. Do they need it? Yes, they do. They're away nicely. Got to say, Rasmus Jensen's made a lovely start off that inside. Nicholson coming up the inside, but Kolodinski is coming through there. Lovely. And Lebedev's around the outside. He's in the dirt. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Gone down hard. Just come back from injury. Ribs injury. He won't lie that. He's up and about. He's hurting. Here we go. Heat number 12. Denmark up against the left. Oh, what a start from Rasmus Jensen. He's fired out of gate number one. Mickelson coming across from gate three. They're in charge through the first corner, but Mickelson's gone very wide there. He's allowed, he's allowed Joe Kolodinskis to come nicely up the inside. Mickelson in that deep stuff around the outside. I tell you what, Kolodinskis has nearly got himself to the front. How about this? Rasmus Jensen now being relegated to second place. What a ride from Kolodinskis. I tell you what, Jensen's actually will not like that. He will be blasting out the inside. Kolodinskis is having the race of his life in the Speedway of Nations race against Denmark. This is absolutely fabulous stuff. Meanwhile, at the back, Mickelson just doesn't look comfortable, doesn't know where to ride, doesn't seem to have the speed. Kolodinskis out in front, back in this race. What a master stroke from Vladimir Rybnikov, the team manager of Latvia. Rasmus Jensen trying everything he knows back in second place. He's got one last chance now. Round turns three and four. And Kolodinskis, what a ride for Latvia! Denmark have got five points for second and third, but they will be desperately disappointed not to have taken advances there with one representative from Latvia. Big race this, Chris. It's a massive race, yeah. Team GB in particular, if they can take maximum points, 22 points, they will move on to. They'll go to the top of the table. What a race we've got here. P13. We're into the first corner. Robert Lambert once again out in front. Oh, it's tight for Smarslik. He can't make an impact coming out of the first corner. Lambert going great guns out in front. Kubera coming up the inside. Yuli's there in third place. What an opening lap once again. yuli has got very wide. It's going to be very dangerous there. Oh, he just recovers. Uh, it's really difficult to know where to ride. The track has just had a massive track race. And you can see all four riders really struggling to work out where the quickest spot on the track is. Muley's winding it up now, but Kubiera keeps looking up the inside of Lambert. Lambert may have to go to the inside. He does so. Muley around the outside. Can he find that extra momentum? One to go. Robert Lambert once again riding fabulously well out in front. Kubera plugging away around the inside. He's coming hard at Lambert. Smarslik hasn't made any impacts at all here. Oh, coming out of the last corner. Advantage the host Great Britain. Big result. Big result for Team GB. Six big points. Poland. Not their night. Just not working out. Heat number 18. Australia up against Germany. Stepping down. There's the green light. Takes her up. We're underway. Holders made a lovely start. Kurtz chopping straight back to the inside. The door's gone too wide there. Huckenbeck now coming round the outside of Kurtz. Charging in the turns three or four. Kurtz pushing Huckenbeck very, very wide indeed. Huckenbeck holding strong. The door's trying to get up the inside. But Holders away. Look at Kurtz. He's throwing the bike at Huckenbeck. Huckenbeck read that beautifully and back into second place. Kurtz once again working very hard. He's worked very hard in every race. Huckenbeck all of a sudden finding some speed here. Charging towards the line. Holders should just about hang on. Huckenbeck found a lot of speed at the end of that race. All missing out. But a very good result for Australia nonetheless. Right, heat 21. What a moment this is. Australia up against Poland. Green lights on, long, long pause. Got to say, Kabira's got to wait big time there, but Smarzik's out the back. Right now, neither of this is any good, really. Certainly not good enough for Poland. 
this will help Sweden right now. Australia coming on strong, coming out of turn number four to complete the lap. Smarsnik now coming up the inside. Jack Holder slams the door shut. Oh, curse is sweet. What on earth is going on? Oh, oh look at the Australians. Now Australia have hit the front. Here we go again. Jack Oh, How proud, how brave was Kurtz there? Smarsley couldn't believe that Kurtz came round the outside of him. Uh, you've got to say, if Australia collects seven points here, they will deserve their place in the final. What a ride from these two guys. Outstanding stuff. The Poles have absolutely no answer. Here we go. Australia. They're in the final. What a moment for them. They came here to retain their championship. They slipped up a little bit in the semi-final when Jack Holder came off. Difficult night. Very difficult night. It was wet. But by golly, was that an effort from Australia? Here we go. What a moment for both countries. Sam has made a good start. Torsell's right alongside him. Beauty chopping back to the inside. Britain hit the front. Coming out of turn two. Here comes England around the outside. Now he's going around the outside of Robert Lambert. Lambert having to look over his shoulder. Tries to block him. England's got to the front. But second and third's enough. Second and third's enough. Can Torsell do anything about? Dan Beauty and Robert Lambert. Freddie Lingren out in front, looking for his teammate, but he can't do much there. Lambert and Bewley locked together. Five points will beat the win of Freddie Lingren. And it's looking like Great Britain are going to go through to the grand final tonight. Freddie Lingren, he wins the race. But Lambert and Bewley are going to join Australia in the grand final. Rerun. A rerun of two years ago. Can they turn it around? Sweden, many congratulations to them. They pick up the bronze medal. Here we go for the final time in the grand final here in Manchester. What a moment it is. Greenland is on, takes her up. Away we go. Lambert's made the start. Jack Holder looks over his shoulder, comes to Lambert up the inside. Beauty's come through to third place. Brady Kurtz is out the back. Lambert's in front. Beauty's gone very wide indeed. Coming out of turn number four. Jack Holder looking around. Can Kurtz do anything about Beauty? Kurtz around the outside. Jack Holder holding Beauty back. But it's at the moment, it's a 6 3 on the card. Oh, this oh. has made it difficult for Beauty. He's gone to the flag. He's got to run up the inside. Oh, he's going to pass the boat. What a move from Dan Beauty. Beauty now coming through. Great Britain looking for revenge here. Turning the tables on Australia. What a moment that is! Can Australia respond? Robert Lambert has been superb all night, looking great in the grand final. Beauty hanging on. They are charging hard behind him. One last quarter. And Great Britain are world champions in 2024. The Speedway of Nations world champions here in Manchester tonight. What a moment for them. What a ride, Dan Beauty. I mean, Robert Lambert out front, he has been exceptional all night. Dan Beauty was under so much pressure. Jack Holder was in his way, riding where Dan Beauty wanted to be, allowed Kurtz up the inside, and then he passes them both. What a moment for Team GB. Crowd on their feet. They won in 2021. They've done it again in 2024. Australia have played their part. The world champions have beaten. The new world champions of Great Britain with Dan Bewley and Robert Lambert have been outstanding.